I'm going to be making beef pot pies. These are really pretty simple to make. It's going to feature carrots and mushrooms and onions, and I'm just gonna get all of that chopped up and put into my bowl. So as far as the beef, you can use stew meat if you really want to, that pre-cut stuff that's in the grocery store, but it's really tough. So what I have is really just a sirloin, and I'm going to go ahead and cut this into one inch cubes. And I want the cubes to be relatively small because they're going to be sauteed quickly in that bacon fat. And then we're going to put them in ramekins to bake the rest of the way. But I want them to be able to cook all the way through. I'm tossing my beef cubes with just a little bit of all purpose flour and I'm gonna go ahead and chop up my bacon. Into my pan, I have a bunch of bacon. It's just four slices chopped up. I'm gonna render all the fat out of the bacon and get it all nice and crispy, then I'm gonna to toss in my onion. My onion is looking nice and soft, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in the beef cubes and get these browned in all of that glorious bacon fat. So the flour is going to allow the beef to get golden and crispy, but it also is going to serve to help thicken up the sauce when we add in our beef stock. I'm gonna season this up with just a little bit of salt and pepper and let my beef get all nice and golden brown. So I've added in some beef stock and you can see what the flour has done. It's already thickened this up so that it's really rich. It's delicious looking, it smells fantastic. I'm gonna add in now my carrots and my mushrooms and let those simmer. And then I'm gonna add in some tomato paste, Worcestershire sauce, some thyme and also my beer. And I'm using an IPA because I want that bitterness. I don't want it to be too sweet. If you wanted something a little bit sweeter, you could use a stout, but I want that bitter edge to be added to the flavors here in the pot. If you want the full recipe, just head to feastmagazine.com. We have all the recipes there. Last addition is just some peas. It adds a little bit of sweetness to essentially what we're making is a stew, uh, which is the base of the pot pie. So I'm gonna put in a little bit less than a cup. So you can see we're now about ready to assemble our pot pies. I have just a little bit of parsley, and then I'm gonna roll out the puff pastry. All you wanna do is spoon your stew into your ramekins. So I'm gonna use my extra ramekin to measure how big I want my pastry to be. And just put it right on top. Next step is just to poke little air vents in the top and then just brush it with a little bit of egg wash. I have my oven set at 375, and these are just gonna bake until they're nice and golden. This type of an application can work for just about any kind of stew. If you had a pork and green chili stew, or obviously chicken, it's very easy. Just spoon it into your ramekins and top with puff pastry. So, thank you for joining me on this wine and beer adventure, and I will see you next time.